and Tiff and Josh. Josh, say what's up. <laughs> we are here on vacation and we're taking you uh, to Canton, Texas to do a little junkin. So, um, thank you for joining us. This is our first vlog type um, video. And I just wanted to, to tell you some of the things that we are doing as far as being prepared to uh, junk and jive. That's what I'm calling it, a junk and jiving trip. And so, some of the things that we have is we have some Clorox wipes because you never know. And it would probably be smart if you wanted to bring gloves because a lot of this stuff can be rusty and crusty and all the things, right? So we have some uh, hand sanitizer because you just can't be too careful dealing with the public, right? And then we also have some bottled water. We have our water here to keep us hydrated. We have a cart in the back, which I'll show you once we get there. And um, what else? Do we have anything else that we need to tell them about? Josh has some sunflower seeds for a good snack while he's uh, out there. Um, at this particular um, flea market, it is 144 acres. So we are not going to do this in one, um, one session. We're actually going to come um, two to three times while we're out here on vacation because it is massive. So I will probably report how many steps I get because it's pretty insane. So we hope that you enjoy this footage and we hope to find some good stuff out there. We'll see y'all later. Alright guys, we are here. This was our Canton trip and the first spot that we walked through had all of these quilts and linens and Chanel and all kinds of things. So wedding dresses. Canton is 144 acres. Now you see footage here of us actually in um, the building. So this is in like the Civic Center. There's lots of buildings. There's lots of outside spaces. Okay. So all of the footage that we collected for you guys is things that I thought that you would be interested in. Now, here I am. Hello, Tiffany. Um, digging through. I was actually waiting on Amy um, Amy C off of Instagram, and then we also have um, Cindy who is junk art. She is also uh, going to be joining us here. I was waiting on those ladies to get here, so I'm just digging through all of the random linens, and you can see they have it like marked like embroidery, embroidery, embroidery. And now we're here in the paper stuff, and they finally show up, and so we're out here just playing around looking at all of the things looking at um some stuff that i thought you guys might be interested in just boxes and boxes of paper goods stuff um that's my husband josh there who played cameraman but you can just tell that it's anything from these old typewriters that didn't type to paper stuff to just, you name it. If I had a choice between the mall and going to um, the, the flea market, I would pick the flea market every single time. And so there's Amy, there's um, Cindy. And hopefully you're not getting drunk because the footage is moving pretty quick. But we did a lot of walking. We checked out a lot of stuff. Um, and we had an amazing time. So um, if you get the opportunity to go to Canton, Texas, I highly recommend it. It's first Monday and it's only opened once per month. That guy right there was uh, Cole, Amy's husband, who Josh has now um, nicknamed Cool Daddy Cole. So, 
Um, there's that. And then he's just getting footage of all of the vendor stuff. A lot of these people travel all around to come and bring their stuff to Canton, Texas because it literally, this was the very first day. So it starts on Thursday and we went Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we did three days full of all the junk you could possibly imagine. And because this footage, um, we'll see I may add the haul video at to the end of this and if not then I will uh, do it in a separate video but it's literally anything you can possibly imagine um, they have <laughs> like just vendor after vendor after vendor uh, one guy said he comes once a month and he drives from Kansas to Canton, Texas to do his show with all of his stuff. So, um, I did get some windows. I don't show y'all that in the footage, but this guy, I ended up buying three, um, three different, uh, window panels. I know maybe I bought more than that. I can't remember, but I bought several different windows to be able to, uh, hang up and just, uh, they were, they were dirt cheap, like three bucks or something. So, um, it's always interesting the things that you can find whenever you're out here. It's just really, um, it's pretty cool. Um, you just never know what you may find while you're out there. So, it always makes the trip very enjoyable to come and just check out. Um, I know Cole was looking for some particular tools. So, yeah, they have tools and everything rusty and crusty that you can possibly imagine. They absolutely have it out there. So, um, I, I'm going to turn on the music and let you guys just check out the show. And then we will have the haul at the end.
Hey guys, it's Tiff here. Um, so this is a little bit of an overdue video. Um, you saw in the previous footage that I've edited in of um, the trip that my husband and I, Josh, took to Canton, Texas to the big, huge flea market that they have once a month. That was the end of February. We did that for our um, anniversary. So I wanted to show you if you... So on the Instagram feed, I posted a lot of pictures. You can go and check out the highlights um, under vintage for some of the photos. I did not buy everything in those photos. Um, I just thought it was a great opportunity to take some really good pictures or at least take some pictures that I can then put into my journal. So here are a few of the things that I bought. So this is like some old little... Uh, it opens tin like this that has some apparently bent nails but I wanted to um, use this as maybe like a little watercolor tin or something I just liked it and so I got it this is a ice scraper or some type of scraper thing I'm gonna take this out and I think it would be cool and somehow I could use this as like a journal tie or something this little mechanism is what caught my eye and the reason that I bought that we'll put those to the side for now um, I got some really fun photos um, look at these guys they just look like they were something I've considered maybe scanning these in and making it a download or something I don't know possibly y'all tell me if that's something that y'all would be interested in I know a lot of people do downloads this is 1960s I really like class photos this 1959 this one ended up getting torn it was stuck to something else and then here's a large photo here. Well, let me turn it this way. But yeah, I got all of those pictures. There may be more, but that's what I have right there. So then I got this. This is like, what is this? How did it, siloid? Sil um, I have some albums that were Florence something 19 1893 to 1978 I don't I don't understand but anyway this I just thought this was really cool and so I bought that in the framed I think it's called silly it's some kind of like plastic stuff and then um so this book And this is um, somebody's uh, thesis that is all typed, and I just love the paper. So I thought it would be really cool to upcycle. That's like real delicious right there. A little good crusty goodness there. I got some yearbooks. I do not need all of these things, so I will at some point, whenever the spirit moves me, be doing uh, probably an Instagram sale with some of the things. But these photos are just so great. So I've got to really pray over which ones I'm going to let go. But look at Miss Thompson, 1949. I just love these. I love old yearbooks. I love them when they're in black and white. And this, apparently, I just realized is in two pieces. So that could pretty be a pretty cool journal cover and then just use the guts. This one is a 1934 um, yearbook. They have some funny little things that they say about each person in here. Full of fun and witty remarks. I probably had something like that in mine. I 
Actually, I was the uh, uh, best personality in school. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know about best, but I've got a lot of personality if that counts. So, yeah, I just really love... I could just look through these. Those are cool. And so, that was 1934... This one is 1940. I really need to go back and look and see if they have any majorette photos. I would like to use some vintage majorette. I was a majorette, so I twirled from five till I started at five years old. So, I love my baton twirling. So, it would be cool if I could find some vintage um, photos of girls who twirl. But, that's pretty cool. And this was what? 1940? This one is 1935. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at the girls' basketball team. So fun to go back and look at home economics. Home ec. Alright. And then this one is also 1935. Yes, I bought a lot of yearbooks. I just love them. And if you're not sure what to do with yearbooks like this, um, I've done some videos on that. So I'm going to set this. All right. So I have here, these were for, I think, prescriptions. They were in this big, like, kind of box thing. But I taught the lady into just selling me the cards itself. But this could be a really cool substrate. Um, potentially for a series you could you know I thought it would be kind of cool you could hang them so you had a long row I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these I didn't know what I was doing with any of it but I just love the metal tabs that have the holes there so the potential is here um, to have lots of good fun so have that big stack this is what I think is um it says 96 on this but this book looks way older i think it could be like um a vietnamese oh well it might help if i actually had it flipped the right way but i've got to google some of this and to translate but i thought it was interesting because it has like graph paper where you write notes and this is talking about 1964 1963 you know a little rat probably chewed on that but it's all good that could possibly be rat urine so who knows <laughs> just joking um no i'm not really joking that's probably a good possibility but then i don't know i've got to go back i've got to do some research on this and see what type of book this is but i thought it was interesting that throughout they have like blank pages for you to take notes so i think maybe a school book i'm not sure and then i have these that i bought so these actually, every time that I found these like door pulls before, they were very heavy and these were much lighter. And so these could potentially be like a journal opening or closure type piece that you could put that I thought about putting on the front of a journal. Um, I also have these guys. So I got several of these, but they were lightweight enough that they could be on a journal. I have gotten some hardware like this before that was just so daggum hard, I mean like heavy, that you would not really be able to use it in a paper type journal method. So that was another one. Let me go grab the last little bit. Alright, so I picked up some of these gloves. Um, I'm excited. I have an idea about these. I got two, four, 
six so i got three pairs of gloves um this is dari lee she is just precious to me and i don't know what i'm gonna do with her but she's fun and then i got all of these like random papers that were inside of these ledgers i got uh this is tiffany and co um i feel like there was a date 1915 the fact that it said Tiffany on it was everything to me. And then also I met up with, I met up with, okay. I met up with some friends on Instagram and one of them bought three little paper pads that says Smith Sterling Service and Cindy, hey girl, she gave me this. So now I have my whole name. Tiffany Smith ha 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 small things in life so I got this big wad of receipts from 1938 to 1949 people oh and a random photo apparently oh I remember these now and these are like war ration books that I thought could be cool little um small journals or something like that and then this little character on his horse check him out ain't he cool and so yeah I love school pictures. That's probably a weakness of mine. So, people back in this Dayton era time, they kept records like I don't even know. But there's a cool like rice paper, um, just random receipts that are in this big stack. Cool handwriting. So, I got all those. And then... Put all of this over here with Dari Lee. I got the second uh, school reader. So the little story about this is I went into this place that was like um, more like a building than a booth. <clears throat> and I found like one of the earlier Alice in Wonderland books and I really wanted to buy it. So I took all three of the books up there and the lady ended up opening it and saw her grandmother's name. So she would not sell the Alice in Wonderland books. So I bought these um, two books. Um, the first eclectic reader and the second school reader. So I thought it was interesting this this someone had tried to salvage and rebind that. Some people probably wouldn't even notice that for but for us bookmakers, I thought that was really cool. Then I got this um album here. At one point it was velvet. But you can see like it's had it's better days. The mechanism you know it just doesn't it's old so but there are some pretty cool pictures in here i don't know what that is but there are cabinet cards photos in here that were pretty cool and the lady who ended up um, selling this to me, she now subscribes to my channel, or at least I think she does. She was having some technical difficulties, but she talked to me for quite a while, and we had a nice long chat while I was there thrifting at her booth. So let's talk about some things that are not paper. So these linens um, have obviously seen their better days but I love the ratty tattered um just everything about it so I don't know what this is it like has these ties I don't know did you put something in there like I'm thinking like a soup bowl or something and you would carry it like this I have no idea but I like the uh, pattern of the fabric here is another one ratty tattered piece um, that I really like of linen or some type of linens there this is tatted lace so my mom used to tat lace and so I could totally eyeball those picos that's what the little loop is at the top of a tatting thing but I love that it had its own little patina in life which is probably rat urine as well and then um, just some little hankies 
I also had, huh, I wonder what I did with that. I also had like a little dress that I found. I don't know what I've done with it now. But um, just some ratty, tattered fabric that I can use in something. And then here's another piece. Maybe I'll find that dress before I finish filming. But I thought that those were a little sweet. Little sweet hankies. And then um, I have these. This is really old. But I did get this. I got to think about how I did it now. I did get it to close, but this is a very old leather leather coin purse. Like this leather hasn't been conditioned in like a hundred years probably. It's broken down here at the bottom, but maybe that's what made it so interesting to me. And your girl doesn't know what she's going to do with that, but I thought it was cool. And then this is like a... Uh, I guess it's like a little cig cigarette thing. Like you would put cigarettes in it. Actually, it's not. Oh, I see. It has two sides. And it has a hole in it as well. This is where your cigarettes would go, I guess. And then this is where your coin purse would go. That's pretty cool. So, it's like a two mechanism little dealio there. Cool. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this either, but I liked it. And I may try to condition this leather just to see if I can make it a little more pliable. And then, who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it was cool. All right. Hold tight. I have more. All right. I did find the little dress. So, I bought this dress too. I don't know. I think this, I don't know. I think I could alter this. I don't know. This could be a really cool piece to frame and kind of um, alter in some way, but I thought it was cute, so I got that. That's what I was looking for. And then the mother load. I bought, let me let y'all see the side. I bought all of these ledgers. So, a little story. The previous time I went, I don't think I found but one, like, one ledger. Okay? This time, these are falling apart. They're not in great shape. I will be selling some of these because I have more ledgers than I can. No, that's a lie. I could just collect them, but I'm not going to. Because I know there's people out there that can't get their hands on them. And it just seems like my energy attracts ledgers <laughs> these days. So, uh, this is like 1919, 1914, excuse me, 1914, 1916. I come across this booth and I see all of these ledgers. Like almost I think it was eight or nine of them that I bought from that one guy and they were in a booth that did not have any paper stuff in it like it had light bulbs and like all these weird random things and this is 1898 and then in the corner of my eye I see like this U.S. postal box and this the view that I saw was like the top of this and I began to get very excited and um, nervous that they were going to be so expensive I would have to leave them but me and the guy talked and talked and we worked it out and um, yeah I bought all of them so there's that but yeah I think items <sighs> yeah it's pretty cool but some of them are like I mean they you can see the binding has gone to shit over here oops sorry it has gone to hell in a handbasket but look at this writing I don't know there were a lot of different ones so some of this I had not seen before actually I, I didn't buy all of them at one place I think this is the one that I got from the other guy who had a lot of the paper stuff that you saw already but I'll just give you a th quick peruse through here. Cash books. Um, some of them aren't filled 
like this one probably doesn't have but just the first few pages But I mean, it has all of these, like, hmm, pretty cool. So yeah, I'll take all of this stuff out, but I haven't even looked through these apparently. Oh, these were sealed envelopes that are, are, are for their dues or whatever, I guess. I should probably take all that out. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, I also have a workshop idea that once we get out of lockdown quarantine and the world becomes stable again, I hope to be able to uh, bring to you guys that incorporates um, that area and actually a pretty neat idea that I was um, inspired to do while I was out there. So hopefully i can pull that together this is from the 1900s so 1901 1917 and the last a lot of water damage 1904 so i hope you enjoyed all of the stuff that i have brought and all of uh the fun things and um, I was super inspired by this trip and um, again I will be selling some of these things eventually um, I'm just not ready to turn loose of them yet so once I am just make sure you follow me on Instagram and you'll see it there Toodaloo! Love y'all!